What's good, guys? It's your boy Rob Tech Help here, bringing you another review. This time, guys, I've got a review of the Azorpa portable monitor. Now, I did the unboxing video about two weeks ago, and I've had a good amount of time about two weeks to use the Azorpa portable monitor. So, this review should hopefully give you guys a better idea of um, what this monitor is like. Now guys, if you find this video helpful in any way, um, please consider subscribing. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. So I really wanted to try this monitor with my PS5. So I started off by trying to connect the PS5 to the monitor. And to do this first, you need to connect a USB Type-C adapter from the PS5 to the monitor's Type-C port, um, as you can see here. Now this, uh, once once you do this and you turn on the PS5, this should turn the monitor on as well. So the monitor is powered from the PS5 and you should get a no signal reminder on the screen. Then um, yeah, I, went in, I, went, I went ahead and uh, connected my HDMI to micro HDMI cable um, to the monitor. And this transmits the, the PlayStation interface, as you can see. Um, now you can see that um, the the PlayStation interface. Now you can obviously turn on your PlayStation, log into your account, and you would obviously be sent to the PlayStation dis uh, display screen. So you can see that the the PlayStation display screen looks quite normal on the screen. But I did notice that the brightness was slightly off um for what i personally am normally comfortable with when i'm um, playing on my sort of my my um gaming monitor um so i just decided to adjust the the brightness uh to my liking um and i think i would probably advise you guys um, or anyone who does get this monitor um to also do the same just adjust it to the brightness i think and the color that you know feels most comfortable for you um personally that's what i would say now i turned on uh, call of duty as you know this this is this is a game that would be able to determine how best to use this monitor for gaming um you know call cod is a shooting game so it's quite easy to kind of determine if it's you know it'll be a great game for gaming or not um especially this these kinds of games so um, in the first instance, uh, going through the COD interface, you know, the, the, the brightness does feel a bit off, um, but everything else feels kind of normal. But once I put on the multiplayer mode, you can see that the color um, and the brightness is definitely off again, which I think is a mixture of the monitor and the brightness settings. But when the game starts, I, I kind of felt like the game felt very slow for me and the camera angles um they didn't feel very smooth um as compared to like a proper um gaming monitor and when checking the settings of the monitor there's no option to adjust the response rate so it felt to me like um using a standard monitor with sort of just 60 hertz rather than 144 hertz um but we do have to remember that this monitor is um less than 200 pounds <laughs> Um, so what I did next was I switched the game mode to Warzone, uh, Rebirth Island, and I have to say I probably have the same concerns in that the, the gameplay doesn't feel very smooth um, and the camera angles when you are trying to turn left or right or around to get away from your opponent, it's, it's, it's quite stiff. Um, and anyone who plays uh, Call of Duty knows that yeah, you know the importance of the right analog stick uh for changing camera direction and i felt like the monitor um uh it and i am i just felt like um it wasn't great for that um however i do you know i, I feel like maybe the monitor it, i probably need a bit more time to get used to uh, the monitor because of the size and uh maybe the um the the reactions um but the 16 inches it does feel slightly unnatural when you, you know you're playing a shooting game like this <laughs> but i think once you, you use it for a few weeks um it probably you probably get used to the your eyes will probably get used to it but for me it was it was it was kind of making me feel a bit uneasy and then slightly dizzy for a bit um but i think it's just because i'm i'm just not used to that uh that size monitor um so i think that's why but i think after a while i'll probably get used to it 
overall though i do I, I think it's a good monitor a good portable monitor for traveling for work for example you know it's great for presentations um not the best for um kind of the shooting um type of gaming but i think it would be okay for games like fifa and maybe nba and 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 you know sort of sports games if you like but probably not the best for shooting games um but it'll be a great it'll be a great um monitor for gaming if for example you're in a hotel and your hotel tv doesn't have a hd tv or connection um but if you want to be gaming while you're away from home um i think this is this this should do the job um but it would it would just take some getting used to but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, please leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel for more content it's rob to help you and i'm out